سمبا سب 
حتا ازا بلغ مت لیا شمس وین ہی ریچڈ دی پلیس وی دی سن رائزز وجہ دا ہاتھ لو علا قوم ہی فاؤنڈ اٹ از رائزنگ آن اے نیشن علا قوم لم نج الحم ان دون ہاسترا فار ہوم وی ہیڈ اپوائنٹیڈ نو شیلٹر دے سی دیٹ دس ایکسپیڈیشن آف ذو الکرنین واز ٹوڈز مکران دس بلوچستان ایریا اینڈ دیئر دی پیپل ور سو لو ان سولائزڈ دیٹ دے ڈنٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو میک روفس their houses were only walls walls separating each other's house that's all no roof so they had no shelter from the sun kazalik this is what happened wa qad ahatna bima ladaihi khubra and indeed we have all the knowledge that happened over there what it means we are not giving you the details now comes the third summa atma sababa then again he prepared an expedition it was towards the north حتا ازا بلغ بین صدین انٹل وین ہی ریچ بٹوین دی ٹو بیریئرز آف ماؤنٹینس ہی فاؤنڈ وجہ دا مندو نے ہمائی فاؤنڈ آن دس سائڈ آف دیز ماؤنٹینس اے نیشن کامن لا یقادون یفقہون قولا دے ور ناٹ ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اینی تھنگ ناؤ دس از دی پلیس بٹوین ٹو سیز دی بلیک سی ان دی ویسٹ اینڈ دی کیسپین سی آن دی ایسٹ in between them is the caucasia this area mountainous area also this you know chechnya is also a part of it now here are mountains and two you know walls of mountains and in between them there is a way a broad dara we will call it so people from the north gog and magog used to come through this and attack here and looted them plundered them and then used to run back so they these people here they said to zulkarnain qalu ya zulkarnain they said o oh, zulkarnain inna yajuj wa majuj mufsiduna fil ard surely yajuj and majuj gog and magog they are from the progeny of hazrat yafis alaihi salatu wassalam i told you three sons of du sam ham yafis sham ham yafis and this is the progeny beyond the central mountainous regions of asia north of it towards east and west both this is the area where the progeny of yafis alaihi salatu wassalam settled so they are also and the sons the name of the sons of yafis are given in bible tara and they include gog and magog they create mischief mischief in the land for hal naj'alu laka kharjan So should be a sign for you some tribute Allah anta ala bainana wa bainahum sadda on this that you you erect between them and us a barrier so that they can't cross you know this pass pass between the two mountains they come through this pass and attack us and plunder us and kill us and then run back so if you can somehow fill this gap and put a barrier over here and close this this pass then we shall give you annual tribute so that you know this this can comp- be compensate you for you for what you do for us qala ma makani fi hai rabbi khairun he said whatever my lord has given me is much better than what you can offer me as a tribute i don't need any wealth no tribute again the character the moral character of the person is i think just the same as of the prophets of allah or awliya allah some very pious person qala ma makani fi hai rabbi khairun what my lord has given me is much better than what you can offer me in tribute for i no ni be quwwat but help me with man power labor come on work with me ajal bainakum wa bainahum radma i will build between you and them a wall this wall which he created between the black sea and the caspian sea between the cities of daryal and darband you know there was a gap and this gap was filled by a wall which he built 50 miles long 29 feet high 10 feet broad at the top just like the dam you know mangla dam and tarbela dam what happens a mountain this side mountain this side and here you erect a wall this is the dam This dam is now; it is the flow of the river is hampered, 
and now it, an artificial lake is created and there is the water that the royal bangla and tarbela both but in the same way he erected a wall over there atun is over al hadid he said bring to me pieces of iron hatta ida sawa bain as sadfain a full the gap with these pieces of iron so that when they are leveled up the gap is finished qala al fuhu then he said blow in it make it a fire hatta ida ja'alahu naran when it was a fire qala aw atuni ufiq alayhi qitra now bring to me molten brass that i pour over it so to say it was the reinforced concrete structure first you know pieces of iron then they were made red hot then molten brass was poured so it became a very very important very strong structure from a stau and yazharu ho mastatau lahu naqba they will not be able neither they will be able to scale it come over it nor they will be able to pierce it qala hadha rahmatun min rabbi and he said this is all the mercy of my lord i don't claim any credit for it i don't boast of anything qala hadha rahmatun min rabbi this is the mercy of my lord fa iza ja wa'du rabbi ja'alahu dakkan dakka wa kana wa'du rabbi haqqan when the command of my lord will come then this will become a powder this strong thing that i have made it will not not remain it will become a powder and the promise of my lord is going to be true it is going to happen at one time it will not be there and it is now not there there are some remains at that place that is why the place the name of the darband darband means in in persian where the door has been closed darband so darband is the name of that place where this do, this wall existed but now there is no wall it has gone wa tarakna ba'dahum yawma yazi yawma yazi yamuj fi ba'dhin wa nufiqa fi sur and when that time will come we shall leave them surging into each other fighting and then the trumpet shall be blown now this sura began with the warning of a war الحمد لله الذي انزل على عبد الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا قيما لينذر باسا شديدا من لدنه ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات ان لهم اجرا حسنا ما كسينا فيه ابدا and this is now ending here again there will be a very big war people and gog and magog will intermingle with each other they will run into each other's columns يموج في بعض surging against one another and the trumpet shall be blown wa nufikha fi sur fa jamanahum jama and then we shall gather all humanity together for the day of judgment wa aradna jahannam yawma idhil lil kafirin arda and on that day we shall present jahannam hell for these disbelievers they can see it now with their own eyes alladhina kanat ayunuhum fi ghitain an zikri those people whose eyes were blind to my remembrance they never remembered me they never knew me they never loved me they never served me but now this is the din bakanu la yastatiyuna sam'a and they were not listening to my revelation and my ayat so here this 11th section comes to an end 